Applications of Elastic Behavior of Materials In this module, you will learn about different applications of elastic behavior of materials. You might have seen a crane lifting heavy loads on a construction site. The cranes have a thick metal rope so that the attached load does not break the rope under the stress. This happens because the stress produced by the load is less than the elastic limit of the rope. Thus, the cranes are designed to reduce the stress by varying the diameter of the rope as per the elastic limit of the material of the rope. Just like cranes, bridges are also designed in a way that they are not affected by the stress of the load. However, after many years of use, cracks occur in the bridges. This happens because the bridges lose their elastic strength due to the continuous stress produced by the load. Such bridges become unsafe for use. The special design of the bridges we are referring to make use of beams. The beams used in bridges play an important role in reducing the stress such that they can withstand the huge load of moving traffic and people. Let us understand how. Let us consider the case of a beam loaded at the center and supported near its ends as shown. The beam of length L, breadth B and depth D when loaded at the center by a load W sags or bends by an amount delta given by the following formula where Y is the Young's modulus of the material. We can see that to reduce the bending or to increase the elastic limit of the beam for a given load we should use a material with a large Young's modulus Y. For a given material, as you can see from the formula, increasing the depth D can reduce the bending to a great extent. But on increasing the depth, the bar may bend as shown. This is called buckling. To avoid buckling, change in both the breadth and depth are made and an I-shaped beam flange is used. This section provides a large load-bearing surface and enough depth to prevent bending. This shape reduces the weight of the beam without affecting its strength. Due to the same reason, a bridge is designed with I-shaped girders so that it does not bend or break due to the load of the moving traffic. The railway track beam's cross-section is also of I-shape so that it can withstand the load of the train. Not only the beams, but the pillars or columns in buildings and bridges are also designed to reduce stress. A pillar with rounded ends supports less load than that with a distributed shape at the ends. So, distributed shape pillars are preferred over rounded end pillars. Let's recap. There are many applications of elastic behavior of materials. Some of them are use of thick metal rope in cranes, use of I-shaped beams in bridges and railway tracks, preferred use of distributed end pillars over the rounded ones.